All right, hey everyone. Today I'm doing a follow-up video to my featureless California AR build or rifle that I made a couple weeks ago. Uh, just because I did some changes and just after a range time, uh, I wanted to make a follow-up video to share my thoughts. Okay, so for, if you notice, uh, I swapped out the Kydex scrap rip that I had originally with this Strike Industries uh, simple featureless grip, which um, I kept hearing all about people posting, and so I wanted to try it out because the Kydex grip rack that I made it worked really well. I still recommend it. The only pro uh, problem with mine was because I have the K2 Plus grip, which is already bigger than any than the normal grips, and so it really made it made like uh, getting a good grip at times kind of not bad, but just a little awkward because it was just bigger. However, if you have like an A2 style grip or just a slimmer grip, then th I still recommend Kydex. It, it's, it worked really well and I still really like it, um, but just that this grip overall was bigger to begin with. So it's kind of, it just gets a really big grip, but still works and is functional and I really liked it. And it worked fine at the range too. It, it works really good. Okay, but this, this one is uh, for like $10 uh, at most places online. <laughs> You get a really good grip. It's very slim. It's very you. It, it feels damn near normal. Uh, pretty much like a pistol grip, or as as it, uh, when you're holding it. Uh, the only difference is you have your thumb on this side. Now, f before the Facebook critics come in, um, saying that this is not like because I guess from this gap right here. No, it is still a featureless grip. If you get on the California DOJ website and actually look up their definition of a pistol grip, you will know that this is fine. All right, I'm not going to go into that because you can go read it for yourself. All right, I'm not here to teach you. I'm not your lawyer. Okay, uh, another thing I did was, uh, which I really recommend, is installing an ambi safety. You can get just any ambi safety on eBay for like a couple bucks. You don't need to spend like 40, 50 bucks for various ambi safeties that are on sale. This one, the f the regular one, works great. Um, the full was it 90 degree or yeah, 90 degree flip is just fine. But if you want a 45 degree, that probably worked just even better. But this works fine for me. Okay. And so taking it to the range was good. It was really good. The big thing that I just couldn't help but love was having a regular mag release. It it was so much fun. It was so much more fun. So much more enjoyable shooting now that it, the bullet button is gone. So I highly recommend going for the featureless build if you're in California versus a compliant build because I couldn't even imagine how much worse it would be with having to break down the stuff the, the action okay so that's just my opinion um, fixed MOE stock like we talked about I used the stock lock it worked really well you know it's, it's not much to say about it you know it's like I told in my last video the grand majority of us once we find a spot we like on the stock we never move it collapsible stock to me is really irrelevant at times you know when you think about it other than storage and putting it away none of us fuck with our stocks when we're shooting okay there is not a single person who actually knows how to shoot that actually messes with their stocks on a regular basis you find your comfort spot and you keep it there all right so a fixed stock is not a big deal for me the only thing i do not like about it is just because like i said storage um it's a lot easier it was a lot easier to put it in my in my case, in my bag, and I could collapse the stock, but that's the only negative, which isn't really much of a negative, it's just a travel issue. Okay, uh, so I was using, I was using, had the CAG on there, but I took it off only because when I went to the range, I was using my bag as a, as a rest, so that's the only reason I took it off, um, but either way, forward grip, um, uh, hand stop, finger stop, whatever you want to call those, <laughs> whatever you use you know it's really it's hit or miss with people everyone's to their own especially when you got a 15 inch uh hand guard like this and and like the kmr it's really round so you can get a good grip on it no matter what and this is fine to me especially with these handrails uh with these rail sections uh rail covers i mean rail covers these also work really well against the heat i fired like about 150 rounds not too much but either way they work perfectly you can you could just hold on to this like nothing just barehanded while this was getting pretty warm okay um i also i put on now the fortis the fortis muzzle brake or compensator whatever i forget the exact one but fortis really only makes two and this is their newest one 
Um, it works really well. Uh, very, very good. I hardly felt any recoil. Uh, I sold the Atlas for basically what I paid for it because I bought it on a Black Friday sale. So, so I, I sold it off for basically what I got it for, so I didn't lose any money. And this was actually a little bit cheaper, and I got this one on Optics Planet with like a 10% off discount code. So pretty worth it in my opinion. Um, so it worked pretty well. So just uh, just FYI, if you're trying to make one California featureless, um, I really do recommend now if you just don't want to do the hassle of making this, which isn't that hard to begin with, to buy one of these because they're only 10 bucks. Uh, Strike Industries, simple featureless one, it's all you need. It's all you need. You don't need the, the, the they're more expensive $40 ones or the, those Monster Man grips or all that other, even the thwarts in that is ugly as hell. But, but get one of these, get a Ambi Safety, they're awesome, and yeah, and then you get to have regular mag release, it's a game changer, <laughs> it's, it makes things so much easier and more fun and enjoyable at the range, okay, mm, if anybody has any questions, go ahead and leave them, um, and like I said, this is, this is a good, uh, this is the best option I think in California, as for right now. Laws will change. Obviously, the new Supreme Court justice is on, uh, has been confirmed. So California, hopefully, will start making appeals, making filing to get laws changed, and hopefully they'll actually pass. So this, but this right now works really well, and I highly recommend it. It's, it feels great because a lot of people they keep complaining, oh my god, featureless, or you're doing this to your rifle. Well, I'm sh different, big deal. Like. Okay, so I gotta put my thumb over here instead of doing this. Does that really? I know how to shoot. Okay, that doesn't. It's it's annoying, but it's not like in like a freaking. I don't know. Just it's not the worst thing in the world. Because in my last video, Jesus Christ, the comments. Some of the some of the dumbasses that have been commenting like those wannabe tactical guys, three percenter guys. Jesus Christ, dude! They some of these guys borderline on domestic terrorism. If that if they're if they truly believe on what they're saying, they're saying they were saying like straight up shoot up freaking pol politicians and places like that. I could not believe that. I had to delete those real quick because I did not want those on my on my thread. <laughs> some people got issues, man. But regardless, usually they're only internet tough, and I doubt and. Those people really aren't worth any time responding to most of the time. All right. So if anyone has any questions, shoot them, uh, shoot them my way. I'll try to answer them. But overall, featureless is the way to go in California for now. All right. See ya.